Here is a sneak peek at the finished solar powered work light. Let's see how I put it together. Good morning YouTube. I received this 12 volt lithium polymer battery pack a few days ago. I knew it was likely nowhere near the 6800 milliamp hour rating it is advertised as having, but I wanted to find out what it actually was. So I have this IMAX B6 battery charger and figured I could use it to check out the battery pack. First I made up this lighter plug cable with a 2.5 millimeter plug to power the IMAX off my solar battery bank. Then I made up this 2.1 millimeter adapter plug for the to connect the IMAX to the battery pack and either the plug or the jack that comes off the battery pack will work. They both turn on and off with the power switch, which is right here. On, now that's off, on. From my online research, I found this pack has three LiPo cells with no internal charging or protection circuitry. I didn't feel like tearing mine apart to verify that, so I'll take the word of the online source. I'll put a link in the uh, video description. Rather than use the little 120 volt charger that came with the battery, I think the IMAX will work better and faster. So for settings, I set the battery type to LiPo. And then for charging current, I set that to 0.5 amps, like the supplied charger. And then I set the uh, select 3S as the battery configuration for three series cells giving 12.6 volts. And then it says battery check and confirm. And there it starts charging. I've run a few charge discharge cycles and get about 1800 milliamp hours capacity. That seems to be climbing about 50 milliamp hours with each cycle. From my tests and online research, I suspect the manufacturer has used the parallel capacity of three 2000 milliamp cells to get the 6800 milliamp hour rating, but then they quote the series voltage of 12.6 volts. So while both are true, they are not both true at the same time. This is because you can't have parallel and series connections at the same time. What can you expect from this cheap imported stuff anyway? But that said, I think it's a nicely packaged battery, male and female connectors, built-in switch, small and portable 12 volt power. You're not going to start a car or run an inverter off it, but for LED lights or powering small devices for testing, it's ideal. So, speaking of LED lights, Let's see if I can make that LED flood lamp put out a little more light. Hello YouTube. Uh, this is my little 10 watt uh, LED flood light and I decided to take a look inside. I never had opened up the little white box that you can see on top here. This is what holds the quote power supply. This was a 12 volt DC LED I guess it's set up for AC and DC. And so anyway, I thought I'd take a look at what sort of driver they had inside there. And this is what I found. This is a close-up of the, quote, driver board. Looks like it's uh, set up for two different um, configurations. One has, looks like a, some other parts, resistor and maybe a transistor in there. But the one I have has basically four diodes in a bridge circuit and a 1.5 ohm resistor. And um, at least for the first pass, I think what I'm going to do is just basically bypass these diodes since I'm running off of 12 volt DC. And that'll get rid of two diode drops, maybe 1.2, 1.4 volts. Uh, increased voltage and see if I can get the current which is right now about 200 milliamps and for a 10 watt LED it should be closer to 900 milliamps so 
just trying to uh, play with this see if I can get a little more light out of it and uh, I'll report back once I finish doing some wiring this is the back side of that driver board the black and white wires are the input power and the red and black wires connect to the LED here's my quick modification to bypass the bridge rectifier diodes the red jumper connects the white to red and the black jumper connects the two black wires together and here's my power supply showing the current increase to 380 milliamps up from 200 milliamps before that would give about four and a half watts of power to the LED with the modified LED driver in place let there be light so here's the finished solar powered work light I use some velcro tape on the bottom of the lamp housing and the lithium battery pack and now have a nice portable light after reworking the LED driver circuit as shown earlier I almost doubled the light output of this floodlight and I used a small camera tripod and a quarter inch nut to attach the lamp bracket to the tripod mounting stud with the capacity I measured in the battery pack I should get five hours of runtime on a charge and it just occurred to me that this video segment is shot totally on solar power the camera batteries and the battery pack and the lamp were charged today on solar power not only that but the overhead lighting here in my kitchen has also run off the battery bank that was charged today by the sun so it's possible to go slightly off grid even in a suburban environment so while I'm sure there are rechargeable lighting options available to purchase why did I put this light together well I had most of the items sitting around from other projects and figured I could make something useful with them nothing has been permanently modified so the parts can be taken apart and used for other purposes if needed for example the battery pack will be handy for testing various 12 volt loads in the house I use the same 2.1 millimeter power plug as I use in all my small loads likewise the floodlight can be used as is or off the larger jump stock uh, jump start battery pack I showed earlier or I can plug it into my solar battery bank now instead of a having a box of unused parts I have a useful device I had this older LED work light that served as inspiration for this new project I like the tripod base so I copied that but some things I find annoying about this old light is that it uses nine AA batteries there's three in each leg so when you have to change batteries it takes a long time um, it also uses some sort of proprietary uh, LED you can't change it out and it's uh, not very bright so I consider my new light as an open source version of the, this older light everything is is available can be changed upgraded anyway I hope you enjoyed this little project and found it interesting if you have any questions use the comment section below be sure to give it a thumbs up and share this video and subscribe to the channel for future updates thanks for watching